Edmonton, Canada's public safety minister said in a pipe ceremony Friday before pledging continued support for Indigenous healing lodges in Canada, saying they play a vital role in correctional rehabilitation. Ralph Goodill met with Indigenous community members on the grounds of the Stan Daniels Healing Centre as part of the announcement that their agreement to operate would be renewed. Claire Carefoot sits in her office at Buffalo Sage Wellness House, the only Section 81 healing lodge for Indigenous women in Canada, Cody McLaughlin, Star Metro Edmonton, the downtown facility is a Section 81 minimum security prison for Indigenous men, one of five sanctioned under Correctional Service Canada, CSC. The designation allows it to be managed by members of an Indigenous community and it is jointly operated by the Native Counseling Services of Alberta and CSC. We discussed so many different aspects of the day-to-day -day work, the hard work, the visionary work that it takes to provide the appropriate care and security, said Goodale following a tour of the facility. Wearing a traditional buckskin jacket made for him by an elder, Goodale also said the justice system must foster rehabilitation to ensure safer communities and praised how Stan Daniels went about this. Vertical continued Bella Wheeling Lodge's focus on traditional practices, rehabilitation programs, and a culturally conscious environment for Indigenous inmates. The goal is to have them successfully integrated back into society at the end of their sentence. Part of the renewal agreement is a tweak to how finances are distributed to Stan Daniels. Previously, funding was determined by occupancy, meaning it would change based on numbers. But now, Goodale said the new model guarantees a fixed amount of money, which can be topped up if the number of occupants increases. The current Canada-wide budget for Section 81 facilities is $9.3 million for the 2018-19 fiscal year, however, a spokesperson for the minister said that could rise to $10 million. Claire Carefoot, the director of Edmonton's Buffalo Sage Wellness House, the only Section 81 facility for Indigenous women in Canada, was in attendance for Goodale's speech and the ceremony, this is a new agreement, and we did it under the pipe, so that's what's significant about it, she said. To me, it shows the government's commitment to Indigenous relations, she hopes to see some upgrades to the Stan Daniels facility, which is an older building, and also hopes to see new facilities open soon, I think the government is committed to Indigenous corrections, she said. The amount of offenders who are Indigenous in the correctional system is astounding, article continued below according to the most recent Statistics Canada numbers from 2015 and 2016, Indigenous adults accounted for 28% of people admitted to federal correctional services, while only representing about 3% of the country's adult population. For women, the numbers are higher. Indigenous women account for 31% of women in federal correctional services, while Indigenous men account for 23%. In an interview after the event, Goodale said he recognized there is a need for more supports for Indigenous women, that's something I'm working on at the moment, both with my own officials within the public safety portfolio and the correctional service, he said, adding, clearly, there is a larger need, healing lodges represent a form of restorative justice, and Goodale said that's something he wants to continue to work on, the dedication of the employees, and the networking that's involved, in order for this approach to be successful, there has to be a network of support in the community, he said. Beyond the official institutional side of it, there has to be a receptive atmosphere. Goodale said there are plans for at least one more Section 81 healing lodge in the country, but wouldn't give any details other than there seems to be some momentum building. Kieran Lovett is an Edmonton-based reporter. Follow him on Twitter, at Kieran Lovett.